Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. The cheetah, Asinonyx jubatus, one of the world's most recognizable cats known especially for its speed. The cheetah is the undisputed king of speed, reaching top speed of 80 to 120 km per hour within 3 seconds. Cheetahs are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. As there are only about 6,600 cheetahs left in the wild, so we must save them from extinction. Iran is the only country which are the last remaining home of Asiatic cheetah and that subspecies is critically endangered. But now the good news is that cheetahs will soon be reintroduced to India. Yes friends, you are listening absolutely right. This is not a fake news. But the biggest question is that will the cheetah be able to survive in India or will this project also fail as before. Cheetah will return to India for the first time in 70 years. Official signed an agreement with Namibia to fly in cheetahs to Kunu National Park in Madhya Pradesh in central India for captive breeding. But how many cheetahs will be sent to India? The answer is First, 8 felines will likely arrive by August 15. Reintroduction the extinct cheetah in India is certainly a very groundbreaking step. India's Asiatic cheetah population was declared extinct in 1952 due to poaching, habitat loss and food scarcity. According to Al Jazeera, is the only large carnivore thought to have gone extinct in the country. The reintroduction of African cheetahs will coincide with India's 75th Independence Day celebrations. But the move is controversial. Conservationists have been fighting for years for the translocation of endangered Asiatic lions into Kunu National Park. India is home to the world's only population of this subspecies. Let us see whether the African cheetah will really be able to survive in the Indian habitat. Number 1. Experts from South Africa visited Kunu and found the habitat suitable for reintroduction. In fact, they said it is better than some of their habitats in South Africa. Reintroduction will take months. First, they need to see if they are able to kill prey in a very large enclosure. Number 2. Cheetal, Chinkara and black bugs may be suitable prey for cheetah in Kunu National Park. Number 3. According to experts, cheetahs don't necessarily require grasslands and that the forests of central India and the dry parts of Rajasthan are best suited for them. Number 4. Each cheetah requires around 10 to 20 square kilometer area. They are small cats, so they need a far smaller area than a tiger and lion. Therefore, even in a small space, they can flourish well. Number 5. There is no record of a cheetah attacking humans. Therefore, the chances of cheetah encounters with humans will be very less. Number 6. If the cheetah can survive among the dreaded competitors of Africa like the spotted hyena, lion, leopard and wild dogs, so why not in India? There are no tigers and lions in Kunu National Park, 
so the cheetah's cub will have more chances to survive the main predator of kunu national parks are indian leopard sloth bear dole indian wolf golden jackal and striped hyena and number 7 there are several sites that are being surveyed for the cheetah including nora dehi wildlife sanctuary in madhya pradesh mukundara in rajasthan or in gujarat if you reclaim the grasslands the cheetah habitat in india historically is from north to south very widespread and they were found in any habitat dry forest grasslands scrub forest etc so they will survive quite heavily as long as there is enough food and protection they will regenerate on their own but if a project has good output it will also have some bad output according to few scientists this is not reintroduction but introduction of african cheetahs to india because they belong to the african continent the kunu sanctuary hasn't been prepared for cheetahs which need large open areas and small catchable prey the chinkara group size in kunu is very small and cheetah group size is also shrinking due to loss of open grasslands plus we have to be very cautious of zoonotic diseases also during this experiment so it would have been better if suitable habitats was developed before bringing them whatever the result i think reintroduction of cheetah would also greatly enhance local community livelihoods through ecotourism prospects in the long term in the end i am seeing a lot of bright possibilities for cheetah to survive in indian habitat so friends what do you think do tell me in the comment thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share